Three, two, one. This is Miss Moon's sixth grade class from Sail Creek Middle High School. And Panther News starts right now. Hello and welcome to the Sail Creek Panther News. I'm Patrick Lloyd. And I'm Nathan Hutchings. Breaking news. We have a special program planned for you today. Yes, this episode is going to feature lessons on internet safety. In it, we'll discuss ways to protect your identity, appropriate online behavior, and what to do if you are bullied online. We'll also have a special report from our new technology correspondent, Corbin Reed. So first, let's kick things off with a segment of Excuse Me, Excuse Me. Excuse Me, Excuse Me. Yes. What's your social security number? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. What's your Facebook password? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. What's the last website you visited? I don't know. You don't know? No. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What's your social security number? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Josh Ethelink. Excuse me, excuse me. What's your Facebook password? I don't have a Facebook. What's your email password? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Nah, well, maybe a little bit. Oh, really? How much you need? All of it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. What's your social security number? No. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Where were you born? When? Where were you born? Uh, Olanger. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. No, I'm broke. Okay. He's on. Excuse me, excuse me. What's your social security number? I have no clue. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Tell me something embarrassing about you. This haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me, excuse me. What's your social security number? Oh my god, I don't know. Five, four, six, nine, one, one. <laughs> um, excuse me, excuse me, what's your Facebook password? I don't know, I forgot it. Just don't let the lizards get it. Excuse me, excuse me, what's your social security number? No. <laughs> I see what he did there. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was asking students questions that you should never reveal on social networking sites. For more on that, here is our new addition to Panther News, Corbin Reed. During registration, social media sites will often ask you for your information and a password to go along with that. Try not to give this information until you've fully read the privacy agreement to prevent something happening to your information that you don't want to happen. Your date of birth and your place of birth can be very useful to an identity thief. According to research done by Carnegie Mellon in 2009, identity thieves can use both of those two factors to determine your social security number. If you do end up posting your birthday on social media, try using privacy settings to reduce the visibility of this and don't post the year. If you're thinking about going on vacation, try not to post anything about it on social media until after you get back from vacation, especially with the plans on the days, because this can lead thieves to come in your house while you are on vacation to where you know exactly when you will be there. Try not to post anything about your phone number or your home address on social media. This can be used by marketing industries to try and target you as a person. Also, go in your privacy settings and check to see if Know My Location is off. This is usually off by default, but can be on, considering privacy settings. Remember, whatever you put on the internet is going to stay on the internet. Use YouTube, for example. It is a very highly used website on the internet. Multiple creators have taken down videos that they didn't want on their channel and have been re-uploaded by other users that have downloaded this YouTube video and re-uploaded it for themselves. And finally, always be wary of people asking for money on the internet. If you follow all of these steps, you're making yourself less of a target on the internet and thieves will be less likely to target you due to that they can find someone with more vulnerabilities easier to get.
is going to give us her presentation now. Kara, you can begin your presentation. Hey, this to Bert, the loser that sits in front of me now. Heard you lost the game last night, Bert. Why are you so ugly? Don't be stupid. Heard you failed your test. Guess you are stupid. Heard your girlfriend dumped you. No one's ever going to love you, especially if you look like that. Cyberbullying can include sending or sharing nasty, hurtful, or abusive messages, humiliating others by posting or sharing embarrassing videos or images, spreading rumors or lies online, setting up fake online profiles to hurt someone, excluding others online, repeated harassment and threatening messages. Do not respond. Do not respond. Do not respond. Just simple as this, don't respond. If you react to cyberbullying, you are giving the bully the satisfaction of knowing that they have had an effect on the way you feel. Don't give them that satisfaction. Don't, don't give, give them, them the satisfaction. satisfaction. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. And take a screenshot. And keep recordings of dates, times, and other instances of bullying. Don't, don't forward the, the message. message. Lock the person who's bullying you. Walk to the person that's bullying you. Talk to an adult. Talk to an adult. Talk to an adult. When someone is hurting you, whether physically or with words, make sure to tell an adult. If you do not tell an adult what's going on, the problem will not go away. Just tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Work cyberbullying to law enforcement if it includes these activities. Threats of violence, child pornography, or sexual explicit messages or pictures, stalking and hate crimes. And this concludes your special program. I'm Patrick Lloyd. And I might be Nathan Hutchings. <laughs> and this is your weekly Panther Announcements. <laughs>